What's going on, everybody? How's it going? Um, it's been a long time since I've done a video. It's been, and it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. Like, like, the last, like, year or so, I have focused this channel on coasters. And also, I've been doing a lot of stuff when it comes to, like, so I, I before we get into this video, I'm going to, Give you a little update on what's going on with this channel. I have not been posting a lot of edited videos because I physically can't do e edited videos right now. Um, my computer is very, um, it, my computer is old and the editing software doesn't really work on it anymore. And also, I am unemployed right now, and I am and I need to make all cuts right now. I am, like, struggling financially right now, so I have been canceling a lot of my subscriptions and all that, and I can't afford a new computer right now. I just can't. So, so videos, like, vlogs and, like, that kind of stuff is on indefinite hold right now, so that's, that's just the thing. Hopefully, eventually, I can get a new computer and I can start uploading stuff again. Like, I'll probably try a video here shortly about King's Island coming up. Because we are getting close to the three-week mark. Which is usually I put a video out about what's new coming. So I'll try and do something. But unfortunately, that's just... I just can't do, like, edited videos right now. I just can't. Because I just... My computer doesn't work with the editing software and it's just, it just can't work. So anyways, those of you who know me know, I, I, while I'm a big coaster enthusiast and all that, I also tend to like sports too. Um, and I have, and I really like college basketball. My And my favorite team is the University of Kentucky Wildcats. And, and so, you've probably seen some videos on that every once in a while. I, I've i tried to avoid doing a lot of that recently. I've tried to avoid... I even tried to set up a separate channel for that, but that just didn't work out. So, I basically deleted that channel. That channel doesn't exist anymore. So, I may do some stuff going forward, but it's going to be very, very straight. It's going to be very rare. And this is just a very rare video because... The, the program is in a crossroads right now, and it's just, it's time for a discussion. So, as you know, tonight was the opening night of the NCAA tournament, and the University of Kentucky played, it was a three seed, went up against, I think they were a 12 seed, 11 seed or 12 seed Oakland, and unfortunately, we were the victim of an upset tonight. Oakland beats the Cats, um, if, let me look at the score... Um, because it was close. They had their chances. Um, let me move here. I'm gonna, because I'm gonna probably get into stats too. But, um, so, the Cats, uh, the Wildcats fell to Oakland, 80-76. to And it was a game that we... We never led. Well, we led maybe a few times, but Oakland controlled the game pretty much from tip to the, to the tip. So, before I go into anything, I just want to say hats off to the Oakland Grizzlies. You guys played your butts off. You guys better coached. You guys better played. You guys, you had that one player who scored every three-pointer you hit. It's just, we couldn't stop him. He played great, and I hope that that's another Cinderella run. I hope that they continue and do a Cinderella run this year i i'm gonna definitely be cheering for them going forward and hats off to them great great job um but anyway the uh, the reason and if you're expecting me to get all mad and ticked off like if you remember two years ago we were a victim of the two versus 15 seed up we were upset by 15 c at st peter's two years ago and if you remember, I did a whole rant video where I was just ch chanting Fire Calipari the entire time. If you want to go watch that, it's still there. But I'm not going to do that. I am not going to be getting all ranty and mad. And it's just... Because it's just... That loss crushed me. Like, it just... It made me so upset. It made me really angry. But it's just this one, I feel apathetic. 
I feel I feel apathetic on this loss because it's just I'm used to it by now. It's just let me go back. Like uh, we had the St. Peter's loss, and then last year we got past the first round and we beat Providence. Good, and then we lose in the second round to Kansas State. So another first weekend exit, and then this year. Honestly, I saw this coming. It's just, if you saw, like, the last, if you've seen this pat the patterns in the last couple of years, like, we haven't done well in the SEC tournament, which, of course, Coach Cal has said many times that he doesn't care about the SEC tournament, which, honestly, why, did, why would your team um, want to win in the SEC tournament if your coach out loud says he doesn't care about the SEC tournament? All that, and... It's just we looked terrible against Texas A&M last week. And it's just, I knew that after that, after a performance like that, like we had a consistency all year, a tendency all year to go and just, like we let one loss turn into another. Like if you saw, we lost three games at Rupp this year. Like started with the Florida loss, then Tennessee, and then, then Gonzaga. Which we let those three like it's just that that this team was just not consistent. Unfortunately, I feel like they peaked a few weeks ago. They peaked against Tennessee in Knoxville, and like that was their peak. And unfortunately, it was all downhill from there with two straight losses, first to A and M and then to uh, Oakland. But and while I'm not gonna get all chanting about Calipari being fired, I just wanna like obviously. That's out everywhere. Go to all the message boards and all that. Like, probably, I can guarantee you, like, 80, 90% of the fan base is calling for him to be fired and all that. And calling for the athletic director to be fired and all that. But it's like, I am just, um, I am just, I am going to get on here and talk about the future of the program and what I think needs to happen. Obviously, obviously, they're not going to fire Coach Cal because he has a lifetime contract that's over. Like, if they fired him, they would owe him, like, $30 million. Like, $34 million, I think. That's more than Orion at Kings Island. Like, I, they're not going to... I just don't think they're going to pay that amount to fire him. But, however, I think that we might be witnessing... Like, there's people, like, even who aren't close to the program saying that... He may have coached his last game here at UK because I honestly think losses like this eventually add up and eventually he'll just be forced to retire. Kind of like Jim Boheim last year. Like Jim Boeheim, like he um, lost in the ACC tournament, I think first round or something, and he basically retired just a few hours later. He, it's just, he was, I think Cal is in the same boat as Jim Boeheim, that it's just, it's time for him to step away. It's just... Obviously, you can't fire him, like, because he has a lifetime contract, but I just think it's time for him to step away. Let somebody else take over. And it's, I think that would be the best thing to do, is to just, it's just the longer you keep him around, the, um, the more, like, the worse this can get. But I'm going to get to the next thing here. It's just, um, the next thing is, it's also a risk to run him off, because who do you hire next? Because it's a risk, because who knows, may, it, the next coach could be worse. Look at Indiana when they hired, fired Tom Crean. They hired Archie Miller, and he never did anything. And it's just, Indi like, look at Indiana. Like, Indiana should be the example on where this program could go if we don't make the right hire or do the right decisions. Like, we could end up like them, and I, we're trending in that direction right now. It's just, if you look at Indiana, ever since they fired Bobby Knight, all, all like, also rest in peace, Bobby Knight. I never did a video when he passed away, but Bobby Knight was such a legend, and I hate that he's gone, but, um, but anyway, ever since they fired Bobby Knight, like, obviously there was that championship game run that Indiana made in 2002, which was the year I was born, by the way, and, which, uh, obviously, with IU, like, I, I respect IU in a lot of ways, I, Obviously, shout out to my friend Hunter Curry, who's a big Hoosier fan, and he, um, it's just, and Indiana did not do well this year in men's basketball, obviously women's basketball, they're 
doing great this year, but obviously, well, Indiana, like, you had that Mike Davis 2002 National Championship game run, and then ever since then, they just haven't gotten back to the top. It's just, like, obviously you had, like, I, there was a few years of mediocrity with Mike Davis, which he got ran off, and then they brought in Kelvin Sampson, and that was a whole disaster with Kelvin Sampson. Then they brought in Tom Crean, which took a few years to rebuild, and he was doing some some decent stuff, but then frustration started to grow with Tom Crean, and then they eventually fired him and then brought in Archie Miller. That was a disaster. Hmm. Then they brought in Mike Woodson, which Indiana fans who are calling for Mike Woodson to be fired, that's not going to happen. That was one bad year. Uh, you guys are just missing Trace Jackson Davis and all that. I think you guys will be better next year. It's just they're not going to fire Mike Woodson for one bad year. That's just not going to happen. Give him, give him a few more years. He'll, I think Indiana is fine with him. I just don't. I don't think they're going to fire Woodson and everything. But anyway, what I'm saying is, if we run off Coach Cal, we need to make the right hire. We can't just settle for somebody. Like for example, do not. Do not, I don't think Eric Musselman would be the best hire. I don't think my, Mark Pope would be the best hire. Like, it's just, there's some coaches that I just, it's just, there's just a lot of, like, just a lot of things with college basketball right now. And it would just be hard to, I don't know who the next head coach would be, but it, I just don't know. I don't know where this program is. It's just, I, don't, I'm not mad like I was two years ago when we got knocked out by St. Peter's. That was its own thing, but it's just, I'm at that point now where it's just, I've grown to accept where this program is and then nothing shocks me anymore. Now, now would I like to see us go make a run to the Final Four or Championship? Yes, I, that's why I, I want us to get back on top, and I think we will eventually get back on top if we make the right hire and all that, like, I think we can make the right hire. We'll, we can be back on top, but then there's also this risk that we can make the wrong hire and go a few more, then just run us even deeper into this hole we're in. And just like look at Louisville the last couple of years. They literally have been digging them. Like look at Louisville the last couple of years. And no, we are not hiring Kenny Payne. I don't think Kenny Payne would be the best fit. I just don't. If you saw what he did at Louisville, that, I think it would not be good here either. It's just, Kenny Payne's a good assistant coach, but I just don't think he was ready for a head coaching job. I think it would be best if he gets a head coaching job maybe somewhere else, like at a mid-major school, and then work his way up. It's just, a lot of good coaches start off at smaller schools and then work their way up. I think I think Kenny Payne will be a good coach eventually, but I just don't think now is the right time for him to jump into this big blue blood program right now. It's just especially with no head coaching experience. It was just not best for him or the Louisville program. It's just I hope that this program can get back on track. I hope that um, the people in charge make the right decisions going forward. And I just, I just want to say, I just wanted to get on here and say that I think this program deserves better, and I think things need changes need to be made and i think honestly fans should definitely like for example if things don't change i definitely think fans should start should maybe stop going to the games because yeah you know, even though it may sound sound ridiculous to not show up and all that like we say people vote with their feet if we're not getting the return on investment and we're just continuing to accept what's going on like if we keep going to the game and just and spending all the money and they still get our money anyway then there's nothing really to change but if if they start noticing the drop in attendance revenue or even tv viewings like this past year i didn't watch very often because i was getting tired of just the same old same old same old i like I think I only watched a handful of games this year. Like, I think, honestly, this was the first game tonight that I watched, like, from tip-off to to the final buzzer. Like, it's just, I've, I just was not, I was just trying to not get so emotionally invested like I used to and all that, but 
yeah, so, anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this little video today. I, I um, thank you guys for your patience, and I know you guys have been wondering where I've been and all that. I, yes, I will put out some videos at some point. Like I said in the beginning, I will do some more videos in the future. Um, my channel's not dead. It will come back. I will definitely hope to get more stuff out eventually, but again, I'm in a, I'm in, I'm having some financial trouble right now, and I just can't afford a new computer right now, so, and I can't really afford all the, all the editing software either, so I'll try my best when it comes to making videos, but we'll, we'll see about the future, and I'll see you guys next, vi next video, whenever that comes out.